This is three colored creature. Three cards. That's not it. We absolutely man, we get so many cards this turn. Alright, let's let's see the cards. One invasion of Turkey. Hello everyone, it's Love here and today, yes, surprise, we are playing a Dragon Tribal deck because there were some new cards for it and that's the time to test the archetype. We have Sarkhan, Soul Aflame, that you probably have seen so it discounts all the dragons and it can become a copy, but the cool thing is that it reworks with legendaries because you can have two of them. Honestly, one of the best combos with this one is Zurgo and Ujatai. Like when you swing with two of them and you draw two cards from top six cards in your library, I mean, that's that's impactful play. Also, it gets discounted, so you can play this on turn three and this on turn four if uh, the Sarkhan is not answered. Another small addition is Kolagan Warmonger. Three mana, three two, haste. Doesn't seem impressive. However, whenever it attacks, you take a dragon from top six cards of your library. And it means that if it attacks, tw attacks twice, it already gave you three for one, basically. Uh, this card is really, really strong overall and it's just uncommon. Um, other than this, and just before you craft anything, alright, watch until the end, because I have some impressions about playing this deck. Uh, however, we have the Shell of Harvester and Fable, just because it's so good and you cannot really find cheap dragons. It's not, you know, other formats when you have two mana dragons that absolutely dominate. Uh, so I f I was testing different shells and I think the Ragdos one is the best one. So for this reason we have Harvester, we have Fable, and it really makes a difference. It makes your early and mid game much more healthy. Uh, the mana base is a bit sketchy because it's mostly Ragdos, a bit Grixis, but we also have White for Zurgo and Ujatai. And honestly, it's worth it because this is one of the best dragons in the standard right now. Uh, I've tried without it. It's it's just weaker. This is the best 5 mana dragon you have in the deck. Uh, Rivas of the Crow is a very interesting addition at 2 mana in any combination of colors. So you can also get white mana from this one, but the effect of playing dragons from the graver, this is the value card. It not only ramps you, uh, but the fact that you can replay every dragon twice if this survives means this is more scary than the dragons themselves. Very very cool card. Our dragons, the cool dragons is Moonvale Regent because it draws cards and it's a flame 4-4. Four, four. Super cool. Atsushi seems like a best 4 mana uh, dragon right now. However, I feel responsible guys because this is extremely heavy mythic and rares deck, right? And yeah, even I myself had to buy boosters for this one because I ran out of mythic cards. We went up to 3 Sarkans, I had to craft all of them, so I can feel the pain. In the ranked games we didn't play too much, we are around 40% win rate, and I think that's where the deck is. It doesn't feel super strong. It's very cool, you have dragons, you have some insane combos, and you will see some of the cool plays in the video, but I would consider it more of an entertainment, unless you are a dragon junkie and you just want you know, to play the dragons deck, because it is a cool dragon deck. However, in all fairness, it feels that your four drops are a bit lackluster. You are just playing four mana for fours. Sometimes your opponent's two drop can outramp you with the power levels, and suddenly you, tra you start to trade at disadvantage. And you can feel the difference in just power level of the cards between the meta decks and this one. You will sometimes win, sometimes you have insane combos, but overall you feel a little bit behind. Uh, about the Sarkhan Solar Flame. That's a mixed feeling, you know? Honestly, I would not craft it. If you are short on wild cards, definitely wouldn't craft it. I went with three at some point, and it just feels that usually it dies instantly, and when it doesn't, usually you don't have too many dragons and you don't really get the value. Sometimes it has its moments, sometimes it helps you flip the star here. So it it can be a good card, but overall I think it's just a bit weaker and I have never seen a situation when I wanted to cast Sarkhan over Fable. Fable is just a bit better 3-drop overall and much more durable because if, you know, this gets removed you absolutely get zero value. 
And Reverse of the Claw actually performed a bit better for me, simply because it also gives you mana like Sarkhan. But the fact that you can value from the dragons and when you hit 7 mana, which happens a lot, you can play this and instantly play a sushi from your graveyard and they cannot respond to it unless they have counter spells and they usually don't. So you instantly get value. Uh, you cannot do this with Sarkhan. Also when the, he transforms, it's just one turn. So very often you are out of the dragons at some point and it's just a 2-4, even late game. You don't need this count and you would much rather play Dragon from your graveyard. So for me, Rivas seemed a bit better. Um, yeah, I think that <laughs> that was a long outro for, for the results, but I, you know, it's so many mythics, it's so many rares, and I've seen some, you know, hype titles overall on the internet, and I just don't see it. I don't think it's a tier one deck, definitely, and it just feels weaker than the other popular deck. So it's more for fun video. Uh, as always, don't forget to subscribe if you appreciate, you know, this kind of honest review for the deck. Uh, the, I had to burn my own wild cards on this one very, very heavily, so I can feel the pain. However, it's very fun, so here, I crafted it for you so you don't have to and you can see it in action. And let's go into this Dragon Magnus, because we had some insane plays today, man. Uh, this will be a very painful game, but that's the price. We pay for the fixing. And the land base is so awkward, but it's really hard to make better one. And we want to play all the good cards. So the Harvester is definitely one of the big payoffs for all this shenanigans. And then we go, can go into Warmonger. If he plays something that dies to Harvester, man, we get double value from this and that's pretty insane. We also might go for Invasion of Tarkir and try to flip it. It all depends what he does. I expect a 2 mana creature, right? <laughs> That's not the most dynamic gameplay I have seen so far. Like, how many good 2 drops he can have? Maybe he has... I don't know. Like, Talia in Toxic deck? Wow, that was such a shocker, you would never play this on turn 2. So, the point is that he's playing into the remover, right? So, I think we go with the Warmonger and we try to get some value. When we stack the dragons, invasion is absolutely amazing. But it is interesting, he played into it. Alright, we go with this one, let's pay ourselves. I mean, we get guaranteed two dragons, that's really good. Here we go. Here, you see? Here, I have a dragon here. It was it was the one from the Warmonger. It's just in the battlefield, so you know. <sighs> Alright, that was really unfortunate, man. <laughs> Alright, another naturalist into what? Weaver or the dog? Let's see. I see Weaver is always a good play because you basically Oh ossification. Alright, that's fine. Let's see if the land is on top. Of course not. Very, very awkward. I think this is what we do. Okay. I was scared the tap is wrong, so... Uh, yeah. That's why I did it. And let's go with invasion, I guess. Uh, we are not hitting clans. And we are not hitting dragons. Seems about right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we, we need the four mana. We could go for the Rivas of the Claw, but the problem is that if he has this Naturalis, already two down the drain, so he shouldn't have more. And uh, he goes absolutely crazy. Like four mana means he can play four spells in a turn. When he does it, like you need to battle eight mana of stuff basically. Uh, one of them could be also a removal, so we probably won't see it anyway. And at least right now he cannot pump anything, no audacity targets, and he is another creep. I mean... Alright. I mean it works, right? At least for him. Do you have the fourth one? <laughs> he gets the card, so that's not great. Um, but... I mean, we are trying... There is still one Naturalist, possibly in the opening hand, right? That's how randomness works, right? Alright, so, definitely rough game. Our opponent curving up to 5, we are stuck at 3 with all the cool dragons at 4 at 5. Uh, definitely not going our way so far. That's a land. Thank you. 
thank you, thank you, thank you. And we play dragons. I know, crazy. And maybe, just maybe, so this dies to ossification, but then if we draw another land, then this might survive, you know, we'll see. We will see. Ossification, sure. I think they have only exile removal, so it will probably won't die, right? So I don't think that cards on top is super important, but you know, maybe. Man, two cards to go. Does give me a nice land, or maybe some Rivas of the Claw, I guess. Uh, one of them could be removal. So on the next turn we will be able to play the Regent, if this survives, but I don't think it will. I think he has one or two removals in the hand. Man, <laughs> I think Naturalist is a good card. You definitely want to draw four of them. Uh, Spirited Companion is kind of meh, but it means maybe they don't have removal, so that would be good. They had this card and they drew it. This is the one card they drew. That's a triple ossification, triple Naturalist game. And I mean, absolutely fine. I don't see any issues with this draw absolutely not a single one so i'm going for the value no dragons in my dragon deck now we hit five lands and invasion of tarkir the third invasion of tarkir by the way i mean this game was absolute mess on every level man my opponents draw absolute dot probable my draws triple invasion of tarkir for lands I mean, we are getting... Now we need to go to draw all the gold for the throats. I think that's the next gameplay. Bro, you do something. You either block or you don't. That's it. There's no instant spells generally on this deck. They don't play the touch of the spirit realm with the channel ability now. So that's a fourth ossification. I want to point out all of this happened in top 18 card. Four ossifications. Triple Naturalist, Triple Invasion of Dark here. I mean, that's a standard game of Magic, right? Uh, perfect tap land, just to make sure. I mean, at least we are hitting land, so you know what? At this point I'm taking it. But this game was an absolute, <laughs> like, mess fest. Calyx, sure. So, counter goes here. Cool. Extremely amazing. So I think the next play is just to... Huh, if they have removal, our Hidetsugu won't block this on the next turn. Oh, I have one black mana, so I need to allow this anyway. Uh, a bit unfortunate. It's crazy, this one is a dragon. We definitely need to get rid of Calyx. Man, if we can win this kind of awkward game, Rivas of the Claw is kinda interesting. But you are not a dragon. But we have double. Okay, I take it. This sets up for the next turn very, very well. We might, we might actually go for the value, and we have go for the throat open, and also a blocker. So he really needs removal, and I don't think he has more ossifications in the deck. Call it a hunch, but. Alright, I guess you have different cards to remove all of my stuff. <laughs> Alright, so he will attack with companion, try to flip it, and we cannot allow it. Still, we are fighting, man. Like, we get rid of this, we play this, and we will have basically two extra cards very quickly. And he's down to three mana. Fifth, na fourth naturalist? Nope. Dogs are really good because they provide enough pressure to flip this battle while also drawing cards. And I think we play like this. Alright, I did not play a land. Uh, so I think this is this and this, right? And this will be on top. I don't think it will trigger. I'm not sure if lands are super important, but we need to draw it anyway, so let's Let's start playing as quickly as possible. Zorgo and Ujatai might finally fix this mess, man. Oh, are you out of your five ossification decks? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, that's really good, man. I mean, that should be game. I attack here and I attack here. 
Man, this is freaking epic dragon play. I don't think enchantments can beat this. <laughs> oh my god, the most awkward game ever. We'll take more Zurgo. Uh, for this reason we don't need to get back anything. And as the second trigger, we'll go for the Harvester. That's a good card. And we do not bring anything. By the way, you can, ca uh, you know, combo Hidetsugo and Zurgo and just get Brainstorm every turn. I mean, exile that, alright? <laughs> I cannot believe we won this. I mean, this is an irregular game of Magic, right? Just an everyday of arena player. Alright, going first. You know what? The lands are really sketchy, but I think we have some ways to go around it. We just need to hit Fableman and everything will be fine. Man, whenever you play the red deck, all you need this three mana and Fable and everything will be just fixed. That's a, that's a good card. Alright, Haunted Reach. We are playing our uh, opponent that is extremely high, so let's see. Is this toxic? Seems like it. And of course, we are playing a Vampire Tribal. That's why we go for the Harvester. <laughs> Obviously, right? Uh, we have to do it, because for the early game sometimes you like the second mana enchantments. Alright. All right. So we definitely will play the land, and I think this is a good target for Kami. Naturalist uh, will always be a tutu, and we can start cracking this battleman. And that's why Harvester. I mean, pretty good in the deck, worth slot even with you know card yards and all this stuff. Just don't play second one. Of course, he will play the second one. Ah. Weaver. The worst case, because that means... Oh boy, so annoying. I really want to flip this Tarkir, man. I really want to flip this Tarkir. Oh, such, such, like, stuff. So I can clear the board, but that wastes all of my, my turn, basically. But you know what? We can cycle with the Blood Token. Alright, first we attack. Maybe you want to save your cool creatures? Nope. Alright, alright, we'll do it your way. No cards for any of us. And let's get rid of one of the fables. Simply, because we might hit a land. And that's a land. And now this one is on dragons. Because we are a dragon deck. So... Very, very awkward. Somehow he still has five cards. Alright, Kami is unfortunate. Man, his draw is really good, honestly. Like, it's so freaking stacked. And let's go for the dragon, I guess. That's what we do here. We try to beat Metadex with a flank 4 mana 4-4. Four four. Seems about right. <laughs> oh boy, oh, it will be so brutal. Maybe we can go with the Junji, but everything is exiled, man. And we don't even have good targets for the Junji passive. Alright, Plaza. Junji, go! You need to really salvage this whole thing. Oh, Audacity is strong, but he, they will just play exile effect, right? And Junji is no more. Yep, 3 mana, Seal of Existence, I would guess. Invasion of Fears. I'm not sure if that's Terras or Fierce. I, I will just call it Invasion, alright? Ossification for the next turn, perfect. At least we know that we need to do something. Alright, so it didn't flip, he gets the card. Oh, his effect is first, right? Uh, second, right? So he doesn't draw a card. Oh, that's brutal, man. Do we discard? They don't have. I have Harvester. I mean, it's kinda okay. You are an undragon. I like my harvester, right? I get the cool blood token. And he stepped out, right? So, if I draw a removal like this, things are starting to look better, man. Maybe we can work it out. Alright, you die. That's very cool. Now, 
So this could become a thing, but I don't think I, I need it. We flip this one, that's for sure, man. We need some good dragons. Alright, this is the big, big dragon. Man, if we play Sarkhan, there is a chance he gets scared. And honestly, Sarkhan literally does nothing here. <laughs> so, this is a paid. The, the good part about Sarkhan is that it looks good, so maybe someone will remove it. But yeah, not much. Oh, alright, alright, alright. So, he goes up to 4-4. Four, four. But you know what? Alright. Show me the target. Please don't target the good card. Oh no, he targeted the good card. But, as we wanted. Alright, so we can remove quite a lot of stuff, right? We can kill the Naturalis fully. He's in full top deck mode. I think we have this game. We need to be careful about killing enchantments because then he gets plays. So I think this is what we do, right? We play at Sushi. We take... Okay, alright, Sarkhan. You might be onto something in the end. Alright, I cannot flip the battle yet, which is a bit unfortunate. I can kill Naturalist, it doesn't really matter right now, right? I don't even want to do this because he gets the card. So let's go by air. I mean, we have a very good blocker, like, very good blockers. Just please don't throw the dog, alright? Or invasion. Oh, I hate it, but it's it's not the worst. It's not the worst, but it's really bad. It also means that uh, later we cannot block Naturalis at all, right? He really wants to flip it, and I'm not surprised. This is a absolute win con. I don't think we can allow this to flip, man. I think this is how we do it. He gets Kami at the end step, so his next turn is pretty good. One damage with Trample. First we see the Exile stuff. Like with Sarkhan we can be more aggressive. We definitely Exile two cards and please not be around. Alright. So this is how we are gonna play. This is how we are gonna play. So definitely not a Fable moment. I mean, we need the dragon. Give me the dragon. I did not get the dragon. I'm sad. All right, all right. So we can kill this. If we attack, he trades, right? I think. And that's not the worst. Don't forget it's legendary. At least something. <laughs> Sarkhan, please, do the thing. All right. And we need to kill this at the no, not the upkeep. He has audacity. Maybe it will be better later. And that's a free kill, right? Because he doesn't have Kami in the graveyard, so we don't need to play around it. I, I cannot cycle it, right? Yep. Just for science. His removal is generally exile, but it also gives hexproof, but I just don't have the mana yet. Alright. Let's see the mystery card. That would be really important. Please, a land. Just a... Why can't you draw a land? I whiff all the time. Man, I exiled two cards and I got land. Please, do it this one time at least. Oh, that's really bad. Calyx is one of the best draws of their deck. And we cannot kill it. This is also enchantment, of course. Alright. You get the stuff. So they will attack and we need to go for the throat on this one. Please, just some really good draws from the top. I See? This is how you draw lands from the top. It's easy. I do it every day. Zurko or Jedi. You know what? I'm taking even at sushi. Like it gets us going a little bit. Yes, take action. Sorry, Sarkan, you are great. I, I I'm sorry I took crap on you. <laughs> Alright, we get our dragon guys. Just please, whiff, just one land from the top, all I ask. And I won't complain for at least one minute later. Alright? 
our next attack clears the board. Just this one wave, please. He whiffed! We, man, we bit top 300 with this one. I did not expect. Well, this is a meta deck, so that's... Did you have fun? There was no monoret, so I actually had... Alright, on the draw. Go for the throat is okay. Invasion is pretty okay. It deals 4 damage to any target for 2 mana. That's a, that's a good deal. A bit scared because our start is really slow and on the draw. But hopefully we can get there. It seems to be some kind of control, right? Har man, Harvester is pretty amazing, I have to admit. Like, this is the card to just simply cannot ignore. Good. First counter spell. On the 2 drop, that's really good. Which means maybe Fable goes through. I honestly don't think it will. So what is better? Better is Fable, so let's play Rivas. <laughs> I, I don't believe this will survive in any way. This is also the upside of not being a creature. They already used double counter spurs, right? There is a chance rest of the hand is removed. I still think they have one more counter spell. They are pretty lenient with this. I honestly expected I will lose this due to removal. I think if Fable gets countered, then it will. Ooh! That's so good, man. Alright, I did not expect Fable to go through, but that's amazing. That's a Mirex. Not even a remover. That's weird. Man, this is what happens when you are down to four cards. Suddenly you don't have perfect answers. Playing Bring the Ending in non-toxic deck is... Uh, weird. Alright, Zurgo is pretty good. Invasion? It gives us some pressure, but not the greatest. Go for the Throat for sure. I think it's Invasion of Tarkir, and we fish for the land and we just play a dragon. Invasion is not the worst, man, but it's also not the best. Yeah, it has to be probably like at sushi. Uh, let's attack into the Emperor, but if we get the, the treasure value, it's already worth, man. What is this hand? He didn't play a counter spell, so there's really high chance this goes through on the battlefield, which means that the populate or well, the populate won't hit it. He's playing tokens, so maybe he won't sweep, right? Because if you sweep, you don't really care about those. Let's see, or maybe he just made the optimal play, you know, even if it doesn't super work. I don't mind losing this if he has a ganja, but most likely he just sweeps the board with farewell, right? I think that's the play. Yep. Alright. Round one, but we are prepared. We have Plaza of Heroes. And we smirk his control phase because we don't accept control players on this channel. Joke. We kinda do. Alright. Uh, do we return the dragon? That's a big one. It's... Amazing value, man. It's one of the best cards if they don't have counter spells. But can we win the tempo war if we don't do it? Junji is the next play, right? Oh, uh, I might regret it. So ob obviously it will die, but it will also tap their mana. And they need to do it uh, before we attack next turn. So, you know, they need to tap mana before we play Junji. Man, it's so cool to have double main phase. Like, it, it gives you so much more room. And they, they want to be a, a bit toxic, you know? That's a toxic deck. But I, I really don't think it's, uh, it's very good. Like, Bring the Ending won't usually be activated until it's too late. Alright, that's a sound for. This means he doesn't have good removal, right? Let's go with the plaza. We play the Junji. This can discard his hand, that's really important. And that was his exile, second exile effect. So one sunfall, one farewell is gone. Twilight is just a destroy effect. Alright, let's see the last card. That's <laughs> my <Smite>, alright. <laughs> and not the most happy. You know what? actually want because there is a chance we have to play like this 
Regent, World Card. I mean, we could hit Harvester, right? This one is not legendary. Man, Junji is not a bad card, but is it good enough? Like, he's in full top deck mode, so we have a fair shot at winning this game. I will draw two cards this way. Let's take action. Sarkhan. I mean, okay. That's a blocker for the next turn. Double Mirex will be a bit problematic. Of course, we need to keep trading. We're at six. A bit scary. So they can recreate two mites per per staff. All right. The ordering is actually pretty important here. We decline. Not sure if we can do it, man. So he's to down up to six, but we have two creatures. We have cards for the next turn. We just need to dodge this one. I discard my zero card, and Zurgo is pretty good here. Alright, so he's up to six, and we can block three, so... I mean, if he doesn't draw anything really good, we should be fine on the next turn, like casual nine poison counters. I mean, I want attack, for, for reasons. Please don't draw... Oh, see? Control player! They always draw lands, that's good for us right now all right up to nine so a lot of stuff that will kill us i guess he kind of goes on this poison plan in the end all right up to five and i'm not sure if i can kill him it's what 12 16 damage and he will be at on one But maybe we'll draw something. We need to really think about the taps, man. If we draw Tarkir, we won. We go for Draga. This draws a lot of car Man, Plaza, please. Uh, one mo Oh my god, so many options. I will do this. I get red. Hard decision. I want white mana. And I want this one to be a blue mana. This one colorless. That's how. Alright, no jokes here. It's fine. Alright. This is three colored creature. Uh, so we have three cards. One invasion of Tarkir, please. That's not it. We absolutely. Man, we get so many cards this turn. So many cards. 16 damage on the board. He's at one. Maybe I should be more aggressive early game. If this dies, if this dies, we win. But how do I kill it, man? All right, let's let's see the cards. One invasion of Turkey. How many do we have? One burned. Only one. So I think we have two more, right, in the deck. Please give me this one time. I really want to win this. <laughs> but it's after the combat phase. Oh no. All of them are artifacts, so it's not really a choice here. No. No. Oh no. I will take... Oh no, I think we lost. Is there any way to kill my own stuff, man? I, I just need to kill this dragon to win. I don't think there's a way. I can kill Zurgo by playing another one. I probably should have taken the land. Huh, if I play Atsushi, I get some treasures and a blocker. Please die. I don't think there's a way, right? I don't think there's a way. So this is the best play right now. Take action. We have one more shot. Okay, that was the, the chance. But still, no invasion of Tarkir, unfortunately. 
Oh boy, <laughs> that was good. So if we hit Invasion of Tarkir, we play at Sushi, we kill this one, uh, goes to Graveyard, creates three treasures, and we have two mana to play Tarkir and hit his face and win, but we didn't draw. Oh man, that was, was a close one. The mites got us, guys. We keep this one. I mean, we cannot win now, so let's see the cards. Was Invasion in the top two? Was it close? Nope. Uh, let's give him a good game. Nice to see some control on the ladder. Oh boy, that was rough, but you can see the idea. We were this close to just killing him, man.